welcome back to Up North at Four. We're joined by John Grossman of Woodruff, Wisconsin. He is board president of the Forest History Association of Wisconsin. John, thanks for coming down to Rhineland here. Thank you for having me. So John, tell us about this association. What is it? The Forest History Association of Wisconsin has some of its origins here in Rhinelander. Been around for uh, 48 years. We are commit, uh, mission, our mission is to inform, educate, archive, and publish the forest history legacy of the state of Wisconsin. Uh, we work to operationalize the educate and archive part with the school forest program. We have a member of their leadership team on our board. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, and with that, I know you mentioned that with because you do the Wisconsin program for kids, that you're also doing some logging tool exercises. True. There's, there's a couple of things that we're working to collaborate with lo county level and local historical societies mm -hmm. to actually implement some of these things. One is a, uh, a project that, that uses early logging tools, cross-cut saws, cant hooks, and the setup to load these massive loads of logs that you see in pictures, the banner loads. Mm -hmm. So we have a, uh, an exercise that's been created and it's available online to the various schools that are a part of the program. The school forest program in Wisconsin was the first one in the nation. Currently has about 27,000 acres of forest land that 255 K-12 schools in the state work with. So we're looking for people at a local level who have some of these same tools, or a lot of them around in, in garages and tool sheds, that might be willing to work with a local society to connect with some of these schools to see these things employed. Uh, the kids get to saw off a, a log, oh. they get to roll around some saw logs and load one of these chain, these uh, logging drays where they function as horses to pull the thing up on the load. Wow. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's so, pretty cool. Let's say a person at home has one of these pieces of equipment that they think could be of interest to a local school. How, they sh how should they contact you? They should contact the local history society. Uh, Pioneer Park in, in, uh, in Rhinelander, there's... Uh, Eagle Rivers Historical Society, these things are located across the state. So they're part of the Forest History Association? They are a part of this Northern Wisconsin Heritage Council. It's a collaborative group that we're also a part of. Oh my gosh. Of, that we, <laughs> meet, we meet periodically. My brain hurts. Okay, yeah. so you're and, part of the Heritage Council, which is also a part of the Forest. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's, in, in the ecosystems, the, the contention is that everything is connected to everything else. Mm. In this setting, we need to communicate with one another and be connected to see these things actually be implemented and offered to school kids. Okay. Oh. So that's John? one project. Well, oh, one let's project. go to your yeah. second project okay. after the break, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. We'll be right back. I think uh, we could talk about. 